All right, what's going on guys? It's Vilify here and with the superhero campaign being launched between both Dragon Ball gotchas at the moment with uh, Dokkan and Legends both kind of celebrating the release of the movie uh, a little bit later than uh, we would had like anticipated but nonetheless here we are uh, I would expect Beast Gohan to become the Dokkan, you know within the next couple of months, right? But we obviously have him in Legends, but but I figured what we would do today is look at some of the easy A's that could potentially be coming with a superhero celebration, right? So these are some of the more hype easy A's, uh, and then there's one kind of like honorable mention that I think is just an easy A that we need coming up soon, right? So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the list here, and let's go ahead and get things started with AGL LR Gohan. Now, uh, you guys should know this is one of the most hype easy A's uh, that could potentially be coming to the game within like the next year or so. Uh, obviously, there is the elephant in the room, which is his... Um, uh, active skill condition, right? So 58% or less with an Android 16 on the team or with the fifth turn when there's an Androids category ally. The problem with this specific setup is the fact that uh, it's like, what, what team are you running the Super Saiyan Gohan on with a bunch of Androids, right? Like the Android Saga team, you're just going to be run, running one that's full of Saiyans. So it kind of makes things a little bit tricky, but you know, I guess you could do it. But uh, I think what makes this uh, EZA so important is the fact that, you know, if we just want to kind of look right here, this could be an uh, insane leader skill, right? Like Kamehameha plus key plus four and maybe like 170 or 180 to stats. That could be one of the best leader skills in the game. Now, I know with the 200%, it kind of does make things a little bit tricky. But if we're going to talk about like a non 200% um, lead, this is probably as good as it gets. Because, you know, if we just want to quickly pull up this category and look at some of the units that are on here. Like, we just can see a lot of the best units in the game, right? Like, we're just going right here. We got... Carnival Goku, Kaioken Goku, the Seven Years, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, we got, um, like, you know, Tech Goku and Vegeta, the Super Saiyan 2 Goku, you, like, we're just talking about pound for pound some of the best units in the game, a lot of said units are on Kamehameha, right, and this is the global database, uh, if we want to look at the JP database, we also have Kid Goku who is on Kamehameha as well, and he is one of the best TURs in the game, right, so, uh, this could be potentially a really valuable leader skill, I would say, and, you know, with this passive, we can maybe get some damage reduction going, or, we uh so let's look at the effects or maybe we get like greatly raises defense on both super attack effects or something like that uh you know it, it's tough to say right but i would say that this easy a especially like uh how do we how do we go in here so let's go ahead and pull this guy up uh the super saiyan 2 gohan this guy if he like kept his defense he already is pretty impressive right like you, you can see him clear, like, north of 10 million pretty easily, right? And when we get with all those rainbow orbs that he's changing, I would say that this guy could really be one of the best units in the game. I'd say in terms of EZA, this might be the most hype one the game has to offer. Uh, but it is kind of tough to say, right? And why this is a superhero-related EZA is the Gohan versus Cell theme, right? So, uh, you know, it should be pretty obvious what the next unit's going to be, and that is it, Cell. Now, this guy is... His leader skill isn't great. Like, Android slash Cell Saga isn't amazing. Uh, but, you know, this guy would kind of fit on some different teams, right? Like, if we want to look at the categories he's on, like, look at all of these, right? So we got Android Cell Saga, Transformation Boost, Androids, Artificial Life Forms, Power Absorption. If we're just talking about teams that need the help, right? Uh, Revenge, uh, Planetary Destruction, Target Goku, Worldwide Chaos. A lot of those units need the assistance, and that kind of is what makes this unit so special, right? Like when we have androids right here. Um, the androids team coming up very soon, especially with the gammas in the game, is going to be absolutely insane, right? And, you know... It shouldn't come as much of a surprise to anybody that uh, Cell Max is coming, right? Like, he's already the boss, but we're, we're probably going to get a version of Cell Max with the card at some point, I would say. Whether it be, like, uh, a unit that has, like, a Cell Max active skill or uh, something like that, right? But the Android's team is just going to continue to get better and better and better, right? Uh, and this this guy's transformation condition is much, much better, right? Like, it's, uh, you know, so, <clears throat> excuse me, when 30% or less for HP, that's not hard at all to do, right? Like, you'll get that pretty easily. Um, especially a new content like Cell Max and stuff like that, where, you know, you, you could easily enter a turn under 20% HP, and then boom, all of a sudden you got this bad boy who's out, and he is just insane, 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 right? So let's go ahead and pull him up while we're here. Uh, you know, he gets, uh, with these orbs right here, right? So, when we get, so an attack plus 60%, and defense plus 40% when you get 8 or more key spheres, and it's, it's, this guy's going to look really, really nasty with the stat buff. We're going to be looking at 10 million attack stats probably with defense and stuff like that. And with whatever the EZA kit might be, whether we give him damage reduction, they give him a chance to dodge, they give him guard or something like that. It, it's just really tough to say, right? And what we would want is uh, on his super attack effects, this would go for both versions, right? Uh, or both uh, chances. You would want... Um, you know a way to raise defense right because he doesn't do that on super so what we would need is for one of these super attack effects to be greatly raises defense raises defense like 
we we're reaching to that point where with power creep we're needing that 800 to 900k defense post super to really really tank stuff right because we look at something like if you just want to use cell max as the bar i don't really like using cell max as the bar but if you want to use cell max as the bar you know 900k defense it's not going to save you right like especially when you're type neutral like in cell case it would be fine but it still isn't enough with like no defensive gimmicks, no guard, no damage reduction, no dodging, anything like that. It's just not enough in 2022. So uh, I would say that this cell EZA could be really, really well done. And if they do him well and do him justice, he could be one of the best units in the game. Because if you just look at this link set, we got... So what units right here? Like, so we got Fierce Battle, Legendary Power, Big Bad Bosses, and Kamehameha, right? So Messenger from the Future. I just want to click this up. So it's like, you know, not the best options right here, but like you could run him with this cell. You could run him with this cell. And obviously the cell transforms and he keeps stuff like that, right? But... Um, I would say this EZA is definitely one of the uh, more anticipated EZAs within the game at the moment. So let's go ahead and move into our number three spot. And this is another Android. This is one of the most impactful EZAs in the game right here. And this is physical Android 17. Now this MVP 17 is somebody that could really, really be special if he gets his EZA and they do him right. Like if they do attack support as well as the defensive support that he gives, because he's already giving key plus three, right? So that's already something that's like insane. And then because like key, key support is just so, so important on some of these teams. Like when on these teams that don't have key links and stuff like that and when you have this defensive support as well as key you're just going to be seeing much higher start of turn defense defense goes super it's easier to get the super attack effects that you need and then to make matters worse or better he's got damage reduction when hp is below 77 percent so what if they made that damage reduction 50 and then unconditional right that's how this guy becomes insane maybe he gets uh defense on super attack let me check make sure i'm not missing anything Where's the super attack effect? I oh, hear it. Is. I'm, I'm being dumb. But he uh, causes immense, uh, immense damage and lowers attack and defense. We need raises defense in there, right? And then all of a sudden we're looking at something incredible. Um, if you get like greatly raised, or if we just get like a raises attack and defense, and then we also because you get attack plus one one twenty percent when you're performing a super, right? And again, when we're talking about the uh, the stats, right? We got androids category key three with defense one thirty percent, right? What if that's just one seventy across the board? This guy's got passive damage reduction that's just unconditional. He's a slot one tank, and all of a sudden, this guy is just running rampant through the game, right? And just when you look at the teams that he's on with Universal Survival Saga, we got Final Trump Card, Worthy Rivals, Siblings Bond, U Seven, uh, Battle of Fate, Battle of Wits. Like all these categories could use the help, right? So. When you think about something like this, this is one of those easy A's that, you know, really could impact the way the game is played. Uh, this guy could be a, t a slot one tank on a lot of teams that could really use it, right? And, you know, it sounds crazy to say, but we're only uh, like a year or two out from STR Vegito getting his easy A, right? And that Battle of Wits uh, category all of a sudden is looking nasty, 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 right? So uh, I would say Android 17 is one of the more uh, effective easy A's. Uh, you know, this guy would really kind of change the way the game is played. Uh, you know, when we think of EZAs that are really impactful, we think of EZAs like the AGL Terrorless one, and that was one that was just really, really important where, you know, the movie bosses team went from, like, hard to run to all of a sudden it's one of the best teams in the game, right? And obviously that would help with Cooler, but when you have a leader like uh, Terrorless, it just becomes much easier to run the team with the key support, the attack support, the defensive support, and then you run it with the LR Terrorless and stuff like that, and all of a sudden this unit is just insane, 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 right? So, uh, Physical Android 17, I'd say, is a very, very important EZA going forward, and I really hope that he does get one with this uh, superhero celebration going on. Coming in at our number four spot, we have D uh, Physical Piccolo, the Dokkan Fest Piccolo, right? So, if we kind of just want to get simple with this guy, right? He stacks defense, and he has the Scouter effect. That Scouter effect is so, so, so big. And if he is able to have like a respectable amount of defense, he builds up really quickly. He has good start to turn defense. Uh, all of a sudden, this is one of those easy A's that's just insane, right? Like, if, if if there's a team like you know the meme where the um the guys holding up like the baby, and then there's someone like floating, and then there's like a, a skeleton below. The Namekian team is that skeleton, right? Um, I mean, there's really just like aside from this these two Piccolo easy A's, it's like look what we're dealing with here, right? We got this Piccolo who's no good. We have, uh, is this a, a Dokkan Awakening for a World Tournament unit? Oh, I don't even know what this is. What, what Piccolo is this? I don't, I don't know what Piccolo this is. This is a World Tournament, is it? He came out in March of 2022? Am I tripping? Yeah, free to play. Well, I, I I don't know. I I don't know where that Piccolo came from. But <laughs> anyway, um, I, I really don't know what Piccolo that is. But uh, 
when we look at the Namekian category, this physical Piccolo is the only leader for it, right? Like, Nail is obviously not doing anything here. And if we get, like, a, a 180 to Namekians, and then also Orange Piccolo, Power Awakened Piccolo, like, these are units that could come out, right? And then all of a sudden, we have five or six units that we could throw in rotation that have different names and link together and stuff like that. And this this Piccolo is one that kind of makes this uh, whole team go, right? So I would say that this physical Piccolo is one of the more important EZAs just to save this Namekians team. I'd say that's like the primary point of it. But he also has uh, teams like Android Cell Saga, Fused Fighters, Final Trump Card. Uh, what's another one? Worthy Rivals. Worthy Rivals could really use help. Gifted Warriors, Bottom Master Disciple. You run him next to a Gohan with Beast Gohan that's on Bottom Master Disciple, and all of a sudden it's like, whoa, right? So... I would say that's going to wrap it up for the superhero theme EZAs. Now, let's go ahead and talk about my personal most hype EZA, and that is Int Goku Black. Uh, I think we talked about him in the last videos that could EZA, uh, or units that could EZA video, but I want to go ahead and talk about him again. The Time Travelers team could be really, really insane uh, coming up soon. Just because, like, uh, when you look at, like, the uh, LR Merge Zamasu that came out, the Trunks of Vegeta that came out, this EZA that came out with uh, LR Goku Black and stuff like that, you know, we really do have a lot of different options that can make this team look really, really good, right? Because there's the uh, STR Rose EZA that came out. We've got the uh, AGL Goku Black that came out on the Tanabata banner. We have uh, LR Merge Zamasu. We have this unit itself. We have LR Goku Black and Zamasu. And then we have AGL Zamasu, who low-key could EZA as well. And that's a team of six people right there. Six Goku Black and Zamasu units. And then all of a sudden, that's a power crep team to 2022 stuff. Because if you guys don't know about this EZA, he might be the, one of the best LR EZAs in the game, right? Like, he's a top 10 EZA in the game for sure at the moment. So... I would say this guy might be a decent partner for him, maybe to put him in slot two, put him in slot three or something like that. And when he gets his transformation, what we got to do is give him something along the lines of, uh, you know, a little bit more support than just uh, key, right? And the thing with this guy is it looks like his kit just needs to be completely reworked because there's just nothing here, right? Like just uh, just critical chance or whatever. And he does get greatly raised his defense, but you know what I mean, right? So that was my list for five more some of the more hype EZAs that could be coming out within the uh, near future here uh, let me know what you guys think down below if you guys uh, disagree you agree with me uh, let me know down below but don't forget to leave a like if you did enjoy subscribe if you are new and turn on notifications so you don't miss out when I post daily Dokkan content like this have a great day everybody I'm signing out